Thanks very much, Claire. Now, an Augustinian priest has begun what he's described as a nine-day walk of atonement from Colvin County, Cork, to the Pro Cathedral in Dublin for the victims of clerical child sex abuse. Father Michael Myrna, who's based at John's Lane Church in Dublin, says he hopes people will join him along the way. Coast Carillion bells ring out nine o'clock and Father Michael Myrna is about to begin what he calls his walk of atonement. Children need to be protected and I've started here because I feel this is the low step in this long saga of child the clerical abuse and I'm walking in a walk of hope, hoping that people will join me. The Augustinian priest vigil began outside Cove Cathedral on Christmas Eve after which he slept in his car. He met the Bishop of Clonde, Dr. John McGee, the following morning, who gave him his blessing. I explained to the Bishop what I was doing, and I explained as well that we all had positions of authority. He had it, I had position of responsibility, and we had to be responsible for our actions or our inactions. The 70-year-old former marathon runner's journey by foot or by bike if the weather turns bad will take him up the east coast through the Diocese of Ferns. In the spirit of the medieval pilgrimage, I'll go as I go. I'm sure I'll find a bed somewhere for the night. Meanwhile, the Minister for Children, Barry Andrews, will recommend the immediate publication of the HSC's report into allegations of child sex abuse in the Diocese of Cloyne when the Cabinet meets on January 7th next. Father Michael plans to reach the Pro Cathedral in Dublin in time for the Feast of the Epiphany on January the 6th. His hope is that he'll be joined on his walk of atonement by other members of the clergy, the hierarchy and the general public. Jenny O'Sullivan, RTE News, Cove.